Yo, appreciate you clicking on my video. It's your boy, Coach Davis, live from Brooklyn. And in this video, for me, we're just gonna be keeping it 100. Talking about, you know, the journey and the urges and things of that nature, right? Now, everybody wanna be a leader until it's time for the leader to take accountability. That's when nobody wanna be a leader. Everybody wanna be a leader when it look good or when they see somebody else make it look good. So they start realizing that they still got work to do on themselves in their real life, off camera. And then it make them feel funny about that leader persona that they was putting on the whole time because it wasn't real, it was a persona. Cause soon as shit hit the fucking fan, that's when they start disappearing and acting weird and shit. They don't want to keep the same energy and shit, right? That ain't gonna be me because that's not honorable. What's really honorable is if you could keep it 100 and then keep that same energy after the fact, publicly. Because anybody who, like most people, right? Everybody everybody keep it real with they self in private, but nobody want to keep it real in public, right? That's everybody, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the point where everybody can really agree at. Most people um, share that. Keep it real in private, lie in public. How are you gonna grow that way? You can't grow like that. You're actually stagnating your growth because that is a way of you still telling yourself subconsciously that these people validations mean more to you than even your own self being out here as fluent as you could be being your authentic self. You still putting people over yourself. And in order for you to be yourself, you feel like you gotta hide behind a closed door, you know, in your own space in order to finally be real with yourself. What kind of mentality does that explain to you when you really think about that? What kind of mentality is that? These dudes are living in a prison that they created for themselves by the way they, that, that they choose to look at certain people and put these people over themselves. Of course that comes from the nography addiction having the foggery or even when you start to beat this nography addiction and when you start to finally get over the foggery it can still be intimidating right certain things that you finally are starting to see things around you just the world in general answers and downloads that you are getting from the universe and all that right let me clarify something real quick matter of fact no i'm not even going to speak on that no nah, we're not going to do that anyway Right, hold on, let me talk about uh, these urges and me explain to you how they've been happening for me. And I know it's a lot of y'all that can relate. And y'all know me, I'ma keep it 100 with y'all forever. We gonna always keep it 100, we ain't never gonna front. <coughs> we ain't never gonna front. We keeping it 100, right? Now, these flashbacks, bro, they be playing in my head like I'm literally watching the video. Right, I'm talking about you can hear everything, you can see everything, HD, vivid, bro, vivid. I'm talking about real vivid, too vivid. Cause one I just saw somebody have to go. Anyway, too vivid. So where if you if you allow yourself to think about these thoughts for too long, your prostate gonna get that funny feeling like it's getting your body prepared to bust. Your saccharine gonna get tight like it's getting your body prepared to bust. And then your 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 wood is gonna start raging through your pants like it's getting ready for you to make it buzz. You feel me? And you don't even realize that that's like teasing yourself. It's like teasing yourself without even trying to tease yourself. Cause if you just do decide to fold and then look at the website after your body just went through all of that trying to fight it it was hard, you've been trying to fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. And then you finally look at it, it's like, yeah, you finna fold. It's no way that you could go through all of that trying to fight yourself to not be on it. And then you finally do get on it, oh yeah. You finna bust, you finna watch it for hours, probably beforehand, before you bust. Like, that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be way harder to try to fight it. Man, it's just crazy to me how vivid these joints be. And they happen so randomly. Like, I could be sitting here, be focused as ever, be ready to kick y'all a message for real. And then I could get flooded with like five, six videos right now. 
that'll have you that'll try to give you the brain fog and and, and get, start giving you the dopamine rush and start getting you in the mood prepared to bust because your body is addicted to that drug like they say watching the nagafi is equivalent to like being addicted to heroin having a heroin addiction now if they if it's equivalent to that why don't you go look up somebody going through a heroin withdrawal and then explain to me why it's people out here trying to front like stop watching the nagafi is easy like, oh, nobody has that real issue. Nobody nobody struggles with watching anography. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Or maybe I'm just one of the ones that's real enough to admit what's really going on. At least with me. Right? Because everybody else besides me, nobody else struggles with this publicly, right? Everybody, you know, keeps it real with themselves in the dark. I'm just one of the very few, the very few, the very, very few that's going to keep it a buck in the light. And I'm cool with that. That's cool. That's going to make me a legend. So thank you. Thank you for leaving me this red carpet to keep it all the way 100 with people and make me a legend for that. Because this is what the people want to see. Now, that's what happens. I'm going to keep it 100, bro. Even with the, 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 the porno stars that be getting me, it'd be the same like little handful of girls that be coming to my mind. I think about her, I could see her body completely naked. I could remember her, you know, maybe twerking butt naked with mad water on her or something. Like, you know, like I just, you start thinking about these thoughts and then you think about all of these other videos you've seen, all of these scenes that you've seen. And then your, your area, your peace area start to feel like, like a bad itch that needs scratching. Like, it feel like, like the hardest thing to not do is to at least, no homo, to at least touch it. It get hard to like leave it alone, like if you feel this it, like this itch that you just feel like you gotta just scratch it, and that is a that is a problem to have that. So I'm gonna do the best that I possibly can to continue to fight this and just deal with the withdrawal of not you know watching pornography or nothing like that, and and not and leaving my peace alone and all that, because it get rough. It get rough, and it's not even like it's not even like you want it. Right, it's not even like you you want to go watch stenography for real. It's kind of like a quick fix. It's like block work versus somebody with like the real the real deal, like anybody that smoke weed. Let's say it's like the dude on the block that's on your block. He you know he his weed is alright, but you know anytime you call him, he gonna pull up and he gonna have that for you whenever you need maybe a quick fix of the weed. And like I said, I'm not condoning it, but just like just the idea I could come up with off the top of my head. And then you got this one dude, he might be getting the weed straight from California. I'm talking about that 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 medical, that 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 weed that I had you for real, for real, for me. You know what I mean. And you at this 12 o'clock in the morning, and you like, yo, I feel like smoking something. But you know that you're not gonna be able to get in contact with the dude that got that Cali. Cause son that got that Cali, you probably not gonna be able to hear from him until like 1 p.m. Cause he, you know, he probably getting his sleep, he'd have been making moves all day, whatever, doing this, doing that. And he don't start, and he don't really, like, he not really beasting for the bread, cause he already know he making money doing it, cause everybody know he got that fire, right? That's equivalent to the women versus you just getting a quick fix from the nography. Like, I know me personally, a lot of y'all was, you know, was asking me with the whole relapse situation, why I ain't do it to a girl, why I ain't do it to a girl. I don't have no girl that I can call right now that's in the palm of my hand, like a lot of y'all be capping with and all that, that I can just call and and just get her to pull up. I don't have that. Right? Hold on, let me um, open the door for this family. I don't leave people family sitting all like that. You good? Or Alright, we back Alright So, so anyway The point I'm trying to make Is that It get hard to Like, it get hard with the uh With the quick fix For me, it's like you urge for that Quick fix for real, for real Because you know that you got the access To it whenever you Like whenever 
And it's like, when you come from being at a low vibration, very irresponsible and also very insecure, like a lot of us had came from, when you know that you have like, when you know that you can do something whenever you want to, that's a, that's a power that no young boy, young G, young adult, nobody should have that kind of power. Feel me? Like, because I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. That porno stuff is like a lethal weapon for real. That stuff is a lethal weapon. I'm gonna keep it a buck. You have to look at that website just as equivalent as you would look at a gun. Why? Because it gives you the brain fog. It, you lose, you know, it, it make your eyes feel funny. You lose sight in your eyes from not retaining. You can't really see for real, right? You, your skin gets, uh, starts to die. You know, it's not glowy. You know, you got this like pale, weird skin, right? You feel like you have no energy if you binge on it. You can't think straight. Every female that you see, you thinking about sex, right? Your peace, you start to lose size in your peace. It'll shrink for real. You feel me? Your your sack a sh a shrink for real, right? With the edging and all that, your prostate a hurt. Your balls a hurt. Like all of these things that it do to you, like it literally kills you slowly. It's like somebody shoots somebody with a bullet, and a bullet take years to kill you, but it's never gonna go nowhere. It's just inside you, slowly killing you. That's what everybody don't even realize the nography is doing to them, G. They don't even realize that that's happening to them. That's crazy. Right? I'm just trying to remember something else I want to talk about before I get off here. Right? Yo, get you some of this pomegranate juice. Um, I'm telling you, this pomegranate juice right here, uh, it boosts testosterone and, and it tastes great. My favorite juice for sure. I drink a bunch of these and it'll make your urges go crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? Drink responsibly. Word. Um, keep it real with yourself on your journey. Right? I'm gonna keep it a buckle, y'all. It's a lot of people lying in this community about their days. It's people lying, bro. And that to me is crazy. People lying about their days. Just people lying about how they relapse because they know. Feel me? Like imagine, like like YouTube, like internet, like it's like people mentalities don't change from high school. Just think about high school, about how when somebody walk up to the lunch table that they always chill with their homies, everybody like joking on each other. Ah ah ah. Well, he comes to the lunch table and tell everybody that he just beat off twice this week to the hub. No. No. What he going to do is say he got some 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 poon. Because he ain't got a for me. It's not like they could find out if he didn't get no poon. So it's easy for people to lie just that, so they don't, they don't look a certain kind of way, bro. But I don't have, I don't be into it with women, bro. I'm trying to, for me, a lot of these women don't be bout nothing for real. They don't be bout nothing. It'll be a waste of my time because I need a female that's on my type of time. And like, I don't need no female that's going to be trying to lead me astray. And, and and probably get turned on by the fact that I'm trying to retain and feel me. She knows she can start doing certain things to try to get me in the mood to want to bust. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of females will look at it as their little way. Like, for me, like, I'm telling you, like, when you tell them, what's good, bro? But, like, when you tell them about, like, this practice and all that, like, they'll look at you, like, and, and you'll be more high value, most definitely, for sure. It's fucking floppy. And. Well, I done heard some stories about women just playing around with dudes because they on a journey and making them bust even when he was trying not to. Like, I don't got time for that, bro. Because regardless, even though, yes, it's, it's worse to relapse to the hub. We know that. But a relapse is still a relapse. Still being on day zero when you ain't planning on being on day zero is not okay. It's still fucking whack. No matter how it happened, if you ain't planning to be on day zero and you on day zero, it's fucking whack. Regardless. I don't care what you say. Feel me? And I'm good, bro. I heard somebody say in the comments of my last uh, relapse video, Sun's trying to say I look like I lost energy and all that. 
Y'all niggas is weird, bro. I work overnight every single night. Every single night. What are you talking about? I recorded that video three, four o'clock in the morning. Stop it. Y'all gotta stop it with that weird stuff. Y'all be looking at dudes all weird and relapse videos trying to see your bro. You're not gonna get that from me. You always gonna see me at my best, even when I'm not at my best, right? That's just how I feel about it. Like, I'ma always get on here and keep that same energy and be manifesting what I gotta do, taking accountability for the mistakes I done made. I'm doing that all publicly because that is going to help me for real on this, on this journey. I have to use this platform to my advantage. That's all I'm really using it for at this point. Holding myself accountable. Hopefully I can inspire you from, you know, the videos that I post and then that's great. You feel me? But yo, stay away from the website, my boy. The website is a lethal weapon. And as long as you look at the website, every time you think about the website, think about a gun. Think about a gun. Like I'm literally about to start doing that. You have to look at it like it's dangerous. Like for real, for real, like on that level. And when you start to stay away from it, because when you have to go on a clean streak, bro, you have to. And when you're on that clean streak and you realize that no fap is actually harder than retention, because the urges, you're not going to feel an urge to want to bust every day. You're going to realize that you just have the urge to want to look at the website because of the dopamine rush and a drug type of feel that it gives you. It feels like you're taking a drug. Like that's what it does to you. Like if they say it's equivalent to heroin and cocaine, that is a drug. It's like being addicted to a drug, right? Just because you got a weed, maybe you got a weed addiction or a cigarette addiction, that don't mean that it make you bust. It's just, it's a stimulant that it, it does something for your brain, like that your brain want and your brain is gonna try to lead you astray to get it. So throughout the process of you staying away from it, your brain is gonna try to be doing certain things to you to influence you to go do what it, you know what I'm saying? That was, it was getting that stimulus from. But you gotta be hard with yourself and on your brain. Like, yo, we gotta get it from somewhere else. We gonna get it from the real. We gonna attract the real. And, and since you want it that bad, nah, work with, work with me. And we about to go attract the real for real. So that we don't gotta be taking it away from ourselves. We can have it forever. Let's go attract that real one of one kind of woman, right? That's going to be with me for the rest of my life and love me for who I truly am and rock with me and grind with me, work together with me. Them real, real friends that's always going to support me, always have my back, right? That real kind of lifestyle I'm trying to live. Let's, let's, we're going to have to take all of this built up energy from the withdrawal and all of this and manifest because you can't manifest if you only on retention and not no fat. It's going to block your manifestations, bro. And you're gonna attract energy draining, uh, uh, energy draining, like lustful situations because you holding your seed, right? And you and you putting all of this fuckery in your mind. You're gonna attract energy draining, lustful situations. Energy vampires, incubus, succubus, because that's what you feed in your mind while you trying to retain and retaining builds your aura and helps you manifest from holding your seed. Right? Ain't it so so, yo, bro? Stay away from the hub. We gotta stay away from that, bro. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Right? Now, where I ain't got too much to say more. I'm gonna holler at y'all soon. Um, peace and love to all my G's. Appreciate all the support. And I appreciate all the fuckery, too. Salute.